Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the derivation of the variance of a random variable following beta binomial distribution. So the, the probability mass function of a beta binomial distribution is given by, sorry, the probability mass function of a beta binomial random variable is given by probability of x equal to small x is equal to n c x and then gamma of alpha plus beta divided by the product gamma of alpha and gamma of beta and then gamma of x plus alpha and then gamma of n minus x plus beta and then divided by gamma of alpha plus beta plus n. So that is the uh, probability mass function of a beta binomial distribution or beta binomial random variable. Now, so recall that uh, uh, this conditional variable that is x equal to k given the parameter p and the total number of uh, the maximum value of the random variable x which is given by n. So x equal to k given p comma n follows a binomial distribution that is it is n c k multiplied by p power k multiplied by 1 minus p power n minus k. So that is the definition of the conditional distribution. Now uh, our goal is to derive goal is to derive the variance of x it is the variance of the random variable x now uh, this can be derived by again using the uh, conditional definitions that is in this case we will use the uh, definition of the uh, conditional second moment that is the definition of the conditional second moment that is a, a expectation of x square given p comma n is actually given by uh, the conditional variance that is the variance of a binomial uh, random variable which is given by np into 1 minus p plus the square of the mean which is n square p square. So that is equation 1. So using this information we can actually derive the variance of x. So the variance of x, so the variance of the random variable x is given by its second moment that is expectation of x square minus the square of the mean that is expectation of x whole square. In a previous video we have already derived that the mean is given by n into alpha divided by alpha plus beta. So that is the mean. So we already have this knowledge. So we have to just derive the second moment. So the second moment that is expectation of x square for the beta binomial random variable is given by the summation k square. We are using the variable k uh, for the instant of the random variable. So summation over k of k square multiplied by probability of x equal to k. So that is the definition. Now this definition can be rewritten as follows. That is summation over k, k square and this probability, uh, this marginal probability can be written as uh, integral probability of x equal to k uh, given p comma n and then multiplied by the density function of p given the variables n alpha and beta and then integration over p. So that is the definition of p of x equal to k that is marginalization over this uh, product of densities I mean this density and a probability conditional probability mass function. So now interchanging the summation and integration we have integral f of p with the parameters n alpha beta and then we have summation over k k square and then conditional probability mass function x equal to k given p comma n and then we have dp so and initially we have discussed that this second moment of a binomial random variable the second moment of the binomial random variable is given by np into 1 minus p plus n square into p square so by just simply plugging in the values we have the integral np into 1 minus p plus n square p square and then this beta distribution that is the density function of p is a basically a beta distribution so beta of the variable p with the parameters alpha and beta dp we basically ignore n in this uh, notation therefore the second moment expectation of x square is given by n times and then integral p in, uh, beta the beta distribution dp so that means it is the mean of the random variable p and then by grouping these two terms that is n p into minus p plus n square p square terms we have plus n square minus n and then 
uh, the second moment of uh, the random variable p which is given by and then we have expectation of p square that means we have uh, taken n square minus n and then integral of p square beta function that is beta distribution of p and dp that means is the probability function of the beta random variable so that will be basically the definition of the second moment of p so therefore the second moment of x square is equal to n into expectation of p plus n square minus n into expectation of p square therefore expectation of x square is equal to n into then first term is basically the mean of a beta random variable which is nothing but alpha by alpha plus beta and then the second term that is n square minus n into second moment that is n square minus n second moment of a beta random variable is given by its variance that is alpha beta divided by alpha plus beta whole square into alpha plus beta plus 1 so that is the variance part and then the square of the mean that is alpha square by alpha plus beta whole square so that is the definition of the second moment of x now so that is the result for the second moment of x now the variance of this random variable x is simply given by the difference between the second moment and the square of the mean therefore this should be equal to n into alpha by alpha plus beta and then we have n square minus n multiplied by alpha into beta divided by alpha plus beta whole square into alpha plus beta plus 1 and then we have plus n square into alpha square by alpha plus beta whole square and then we have minus n into alpha square by alpha plus beta whole square and then finally we have minus of n square alpha square divided by alpha plus beta whole square this last term is basically the square of the mean now we can clearly cancel these two terms and then we can do some simple algebra to derive the variance of x which is therefore the variance of the random variable x is equal to by doing some simple algebra on these three expressions we can clearly see that the variable will the variance of the random variable x that follows a beta binomial distribution is going to be n into alpha into beta multiplied by alpha plus beta plus n divided by alpha plus beta whole square into alpha plus beta plus 1 so that is the variance of the random variable x so to summarize in this video we have looked at the derivation of the variance of a random variable that follows a beta binomial distribution so for this kind of distribution uh, the conditional variable x which depend uh, given the values parameter p uh, which again is a random variable so given the value p the conditional probability mass function of x is given by a binomial distribution or a binomial probability mass function and so and then since the goal is to derive the variance first we need to know the conditional second moment of this random variable that is x square given p comma n so this is basically the variance uh, plus uh, the square of the mean of a binomial random variable which is n p into 1 minus p plus n square p square and the variance of the overall random variable that is the variance of this random variable x is given by the classical definition and then we have we also have the knowledge of the mean from a previous video which is n alpha by alpha plus beta and then the first the, then the second moment of this random variable is given by the definition uh, of uh, summation over k of k square into the probability mass function so this probability mass function which is basically a marginalized probability mass function of this joint uh, function so this conditional probability mass function multiplied by the beta distribution of the beta density function so uh, to simplify this one we basically interchange the sum and integral and then we get the definition of the conditional second moment which is basically n p into 1 minus p plus n square p square and then we have our beta density function then we found that the expectation of x square is simply the sum of n into e of p that is n into expectation of the uh, beta random variable p plus n square minus n into second moment of the random variable p and then just by simply using the definitions of the mean and second moment of a beta random variable we get a better expression for the second moment of x and then from this we can compute the or evaluate the variance of the random variable x which is found to be a uh, combination of this one uh, these five uh, fractions 
and upon simple algebra we can clearly show that the variance of the random variable x that follows a beta binomial distribution to be equal to n into alpha into beta multiplied and then multiplied by alpha plus beta plus n divided by alpha plus beta squared and then alpha plus beta plus 1. So that is the result for the variance of a beta binomial random variable. Thanks for watching.